And now he's a model for DreamHack merch. So, is what else can you ask for? He is that kind of guy, man. Yeah. So, that, finally we got Triff versus Luderix, which we were uh, expecting earlier today as the second set, right? True, true. And then uh, Luderix got... Oh my god! And that's... Th there you see. He learned a lot about the punish game against Wizrobe this week, right? Oh yeah, I, I think he want to beat Wizrobe. I think he want that win. Like, he want that revenge from Syndicate. Yeah, definitely. Pretty sure about it. But yeah, we'll see, we'll see, but right now, yeah, Ludwig's a really terrible spot. Unfortunately, like, when he was back on the stage, he just ran out of, uh, on Triff. But unfortunately, maybe a bit too close, and maybe not in the safer, safest way. So he just allowed Triff to make the punish on him. Yeah. So, um, he goes for those, for those, uh, Ludwig goes for the back aerials, which is, uh, double-edged sword, because you, you get more percentage and you get her further away, but you also get her higher up. So, I don't know if you really want that, get her higher up on the recovery, because then she has more options. And, ooh, oh. a little bit misspaced there on the on the reverse bear. Yeah, but even, can, like, like, it wasn't sent far away. Like, the back air just sent him, like, a little I don't bit know, upwards. so it close like to upwards, him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah that, was, that was a bit weird, I would say. I think so as well. Anyway, he got the stock in the long run, and uh, Ludwig still has to take a stock yet. True, true. And those back airs are like giving him a stock eventually, but not. Oh, oh no, he has no. Oh, the frame. I think it's uh, frame 13, where he extends his grab box a lot on the um, on the upbeat. Maybe. So, Triff got frame 13 or 14. I'm not too sure. Okay, but yeah, unfortunately, like he, he got a good move, but he overextended a bit, so it was just sent. Off stage so <laughs> fast, <laughs> but he gets his stock with a with a re jump down air onto the stage. Well, oh, that's gonna be the stock for sure. Yeah, and you want to jump oh, in because he has no jump. Oh my god! So that's it. Oh, and Triff even. Well, oh yeah, he stayed alive, use, utilizing the toad. <laughs> well, Luderix, um, Luderix got screwed over there big time, especially on the last stock when Triff decided to whoop him so bad. Yeah, but Ludrix is really aggressive, way too much, I would say. Yeah. So Triff like, is really good defensively, really good at con counter attacking, really good at micro spacing and stuff. It's just like one of the worst player matchup, I think, for Ludrix. Yeah, I think so as well. Very difficult uh, also for Ludrix um, is the fact that he seems to have trouble with attacking onto the ground. True. And that's where Triff really shines because Peach has a very difficult time like tech chasing because she's so slow. So if you don't tech, then you know that gets eliminated and Triff can just you know hit him over and over and over again. Yeah. Get him eventually into the position oh that he wants to. Oh my God! And still no percentage taken by Ludorix. We're two stocks in. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> if that would. Oh, there we go. Nice tech there. And yeah, first hit. Finally, with, uh, with a weird dash attack and aggression once again, like, you look at that, just won that pitch, man. Yeah. Finally, he's waiting, but even then, he's just getting closer suddenly. Ah, uh, nice. Okay, okay. But you know, that's what, like, Ludorix's first hit in the game was a dash attack by Falcon, which yeah. we don't see that often. Which reminds me of one truth about melee that Mango taught us all, all those years back. If you can't beat him, like in neutral game, if you can't outplay him, do weird stuff. <laughs> Just go back to weird stuff because they won't expect it. That's true. That's what he does against Armada, like what he used to do against Armada like way back. He said like, Armada eats up every single best recovery option I could use, so I use really weird recovery options, for example, you know? Like weird for way back then, but you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Night Trip is waiting. Nice! Nice by Ludrix. He was waiting a bit. He was waiting a bit to that knee. That was really cool. And Ludrix playing with the turn I think Ludrix gave up on the set. He just wants to have some fun, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. with the tone console on the Randall. Now yeah. that with the, with the turnip. Yeah, he definitely wants to have fun. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, there we go. The ledge cancels on the top platform. Uh oh. Classic. <laughs> oh, wow. He came with, the, he came with, his, uh, with his fist from. from Upwards, but still got hit from below. Uh, that was a good call, though. That was a good call. Yeah, definitely. And yeah, that's gonna be stuck, and that's gonna be the set. 2 0 for Trefasia. No surprise right there. Second game looked a lot better because Ludorix looked a lot more, um, I would say, a lot more relaxed, a lot more calm because he, like, he did a lot more of what he wants to do instead of trying to actually, you know, play like 
his the way he thinks he's supposed to play.